Welcome to C++ Coding Ninja. Hello everyone, so today's tutorial is going to be about while statements. So, let me explain what you um explain to you what a while statement is. So, for example, let's say we need to write a program which will count all the numbers from 1 to 10. So, Obviously, you can just do C out um, one, and then you can do backslash n, uh, C out one, backslash n, which means new line, and go um, and come keep doing it until you reach ten. There we go. So, um, that's how you can do um, counting. Return zero. Not well sure that will make give you the answer. But that's kind of complicated. And if somebody has to read your program, or if you have ever have to. Um, check for any mistakes in a bigger program it's going to be really hard to read whether um whether you used um like um, it'll just be a bit hard well you can make it easier to read by using while statements so what you want to do first is to create an integer and name it i don't know number in this case number equals one now you create a while statement just like how you create an if statement you have your while statement and then you add um brackets parentheses and then you write um while number is less than or equal to so um if you want to write um less than or greater than or equal to or equal to then you can ju then you write your operator and then after the operator you add an equal sign to show less than or equal um, yeah um well number is less than or equal to 10 after that you add braces um curly braces and write C out number uh, and uh, and then you what you want to do is you want to um um add one to the to the number variable so you can just write number equals number plus one so what so what this does is that that it's that now um number the number variable is going to um change by one so so this is the so that's what the um program does and let's check it out um and yeah and I forgot a semicolon. There we go, we get all the numbers from one to ten. No problem and also it's very it's very easy to read. So um we can also make it a hundred, so we can make it a hundred. Um yeah, all the numbers to a hundred. Yeah, you can also make it a thousand. It will be it, you won't be able to do all this stuff without wall statements. Otherwise, you just it'll just be time consuming, and probably it'll just take you like two hours to do all the numbers 
tilt out a thousand when you can just do this sim easily with wall statements. All the numbers to a thousand. So those are what wall statements are. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching my video. If you have any questions, please write them down in the comment section below. If you liked the video, please click like, subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you can get notified when I upload my next video.